guys, Everlong Mystic here, and we are we're gonna kind of get a little dark. So buckle up, um, sit down, and <laughs> you might want to sit for this. And uh, we're gonna get into the dark nook, you know, the nooks and crannies, the dusty places, places you might not want to look at, places that you might be ignoring, or places that you are very, very well aware of. But um, we're just gonna we're just gonna get into it and see what comes up with Aries in the dark. All right. Remember, there is zero judgment in these um, shadow readings. Zero judgment because we all we all have shadows. The point is to just be be whole. Just be whole. Okay. <clears throat> Aries. So Aries in the dark. Ooh, Aries in the dark. That was really quick. Okay. Wow, Aries. I like it. Okay, Aries. You have resilience. Burn away the past. Look at that fire. Burn away the past. There's a lot of stuff in the past here. You need to let that you need to let that go, Aries. Okay. Let it go. Alright. Burn away the past. That's intense. Okay. Aries after dark. What else for Aries? Aries after dark. Aries in the dark. Punishing yourself. Okay, so we have the atonement card here. You're, I'm, I'm getting like martyr, martyr energy. You're doing this to yourself, though. Atonement. Is this guilt? You're freely letting this happen. You're letting this happen, or you're doing it to yourself. You're asking for it. And when I say you're asking for it, I don't mean you deserve it. I mean you're, you're just like, yeah, just bring it on, bring it on. Just, just, you know, it's not like you've done something to deserve it, is what I'm trying to say. Wow, Aries. Maybe there's something from the past that you feel like like bad about. Maybe maybe you can't get over like maybe some wrong choices that you've made in the past or something. It's like haunting you and you just really need to burn it burn it away. But you're beating you're you're beating yourself up over it. Whatever this is. In all the other readings, I, I've been getting the book and reading on the um, the Magic of You Oracle card, but I, honestly, I'm for you, Aries. I'm going to get the little book on this. I don't usually get the book for these Dark Mirror cards because they're pretty self-explanatory. But I am curious what this atonement, what the book has to say about the atonement. Hmm. So, it does have, um, <clears throat> it does have hints of depression in it. Here, let me hold it up for you. Okay. Okay, it says here, accepting pain is a way to survive the pain. Not all things burn, but some should. Oh, wow, and you have burning away the past. Okay. <clears throat> so it says here, 
Atonement is, is about paying the bills, unadulterated, unfiltered, not negotiated. It's about full and open acceptance of consequences. It's also about paying for the price of others. Letting go of all ifs and buts and taking it all in, whether it's ours to take or another's to shoulder. If you have a piece of what puts you at fault, normally you would try to separate it and weigh it evenly with what makes the other at fault and with what you, and with what you made it right. That doesn't make sense. A little for a little, but it rarely does move anything forward. Sometimes we need a clean slate, and it's done by going through it all. Paying more than is due to create closure for yourself, for others. You take the dark in so that others can stay in the light, even if they don't deserve it, even if you don't deserve it. Holy crap. So considering this is a shadow aspect, Aries, you're, pay you're still paying bills from the past, even if you, even if it's not even your fault. Holy guacamole, all right. You never cease to amaze me, Aries, with what, with how you are and what you're going through. All right. Let's get some clarification. Can we get clarification on the burning away of the past? This resilience. What is Aries trying to burn away? Well, it seems as if Aries is trying to burn away some of their own sins and sins of others. Or wrongdoings, I guess. I don't know. I don't like the word sin. Alright. <clears throat> what is Aries burning away from the past? What is this past for Aries? What is Aries burning away? So we have the Page of Swords here, and this, this is you shining the light on something. You're completely inspecting something. Lighting, lighting words, light words. Okay, let's just see where this goes. Oh, you're shining the light on the fool. You're shining the light on the fool. Whoa, and the lovers? Okay. The lovers is separate. I feel like the lovers is supposed to go with the atonement card, so we're, we're looking at burn away the past here. So something in the past where you're exposing, okay, so in the past you were exposing people for being a fool. It's like kind of like shining a light on the idiots in your life or something like that. Shining a light on the idiots. Either that or Maybe, maybe it's, maybe you feel guilty about kind of like a sharp tongue. Or maybe presenting yourself as better than or smarter than, than others. And it's something like, <clears throat> you were like that, you know, a long time ago, 
and you're not like that now, but it's still in your mind and you want to burn that, you need to burn that away because it's not you anymore. It's, I'm, I'm almost getting like, um, what do they call that, like intellectual snobbery or something? Like intellectual snobbery. You're trying to burn that away, Aries. Interesting. Okay. So here we have atonement. So this is you paying other people's bills. And we're in their mental. It's a mental, emotional. Um, you're paying the price. You're you're taking the blame, but you're willing to do it. You're just you're just doing it. It's like very kind of sacrificial. Uh, but but it's it's kind of at your own detriment here. And it has something to do with the lovers. I'm not quite sure what yet. How does this atonement connect with the lovers? <gasps> you did it out of love. Oh my gosh. Aries, you did it out of love. You sacrificed yourself for love. Oh my gosh, it's gonna make me cry. Okay. <laughs> and the Queen of Cups comes out as I get a little emotional here. You did it out of love, and you're still paying the price. It's still in you. You're still paying the price for that. But you did it for love. And you have this Queen of Cups. And you know what? The cups the cup still weeps. The cup still weeps in your hand. Wow. Alright, Aries. I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it here. This is the message. You've been through a lot. You know what? You are, you are resilient. Oh my gosh, you are resilient. You've been through a lot, Aries. I feel, I feel safe saying that you're done. You're done with this. You, you don't, you don't have to take these swords anymore. You can take them all out and let yourself heal. Let yourself heal. There's still water in the cup to heal with. wash off the wounds and it'll get it'll get better all right Aries I hope you are embracing your inner mystic and thank you for staying staying here and, and being here with me for this and um, if this resonates at all let me know if you can't leave a comment for some reason you can always send me an email and I will see you next time bye Aries